Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson. I'm here with Mike Cookie from Pivotal. Mike, how are you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. So um, you've been here before. Um, how is this conference for you this year? Uh, it's going great. First of all, I just see a lot more momentum, which is exciting. Obviously, we had to upgrade venues because we had outgrown where we were, so that's awesome. Um, but the interest level is really high, I think. Uh, there's a new uh, surge of in-memory interest, I think, and Pivotal's been in the in-memory industry for a long time, so we're happy to see that interest and, uh, and be here to support it. Uh, just last night, we had a, a, a meetup where we supported the Tachyon Initiative, which is part of the Spark Initiative out of the Berkey Lab. Uh, so we're really pumped. I think in memory is probably a major theme here, um, and all the, and, and in general, just the Hadoop ecosystem kind of going enterprise class. It seems to be here now. So talk a little bit about that Hadoop ecosystem and where Pivotal plays a role there. Pivotal is kind of unique in the space, right? We 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 call ourselves the open cloud platform, and really what we do is we help enterprises design amazing software. Um, but at the kind of the foundation of that, we believe it's data and uh, intelligence from data that's going to build that next generation of applications. So we've collected a, a, a portfolio of human beings and technology that basically lead to these next generation applications and a platform to host them on. Um, I run product marketing for the data products, so uh, basically my job is to make sure that a combination of Hadoop, but more importantly advanced services on top of Hadoop, can kind of mature uh, enterprises into that next generation. So an open solution for cloud-based developers? Or yeah, yeah. Software? So um, again, that would be coming in it from one direction, right? So we're, we're the uh, inventor of Cloud Foundry, which is the leading yeah. platform as a service. Uh, obviously all open source, supported by a federation of, uh, of major enterprises and vendors today. Uh, we have our own uh, enterprise distribution of that called Pivotal CF. Uh, and today it's powering some of the leading enterprise applications uh, on the market. So, and, and inside of that, we can host big data services and big data analytics that can then feed those applications. And do you have a, uh, a pricing model or some, some sort of like, if I want to store my data as well? I mean, is there, how do you guys do that? Yeah, so about six months ago, we uh, released something called the Big Data Suite. One of the, as we just talked about, right, we think you need to store a lot of data and do really advanced analytics on it to make a difference and change a business or an enterprise. So we, the first statement there is store everything. And we felt like most of the solutions on the space, even the lower cost kind of innovative Hadoop solutions, you're really paying per terabyte and you're getting taxed for every piece of data you want to keep. So we tried to change that entire paradigm with the big data suite, which includes unlimited Hadoop. So we allow customers to su subscribe to our big data services and with that subscription comes unlimited supported Hadoop. So that basically unlocks an enterprise to start storing massive amounts of data uh, at a very low cost. And then they can actually do advanced analytics once they've got the data stored. But so it was, storage is almost free, it's the access to it, it's the charge on that? Exactly, and, and actually that plays to our portfolio, right? We, right? we feel like we have a really unique set of advanced services. Um, we're heavily invested in SQL analytics. We, we uh, invented something called the Green Plum Database, which is a leading analytic database. And we ported that SQL analytic capability on top of Hadoop, that's called Hawk. And so that's an extremely unique SQL analytics solution on top of a Hawk, which basically bridges the skills gap so that you can use SQL apps and SQL analytical tools and SQL development uh, to do analytics on top of Hadoop, which is really unique. Uh, and the last facet was in memory, which again, we inherited a, an amazing set of technology with Gemfire, which is an in memory uh, database, an in memory NoSQL database. And we've ported that on top of Hadoop as well. So effectively, we're one of the few enterprises that is bringing kind of traditional enterprise class tool sets on top of the Hadoop ecosystem. And so who do you see as the, the main players in your ecosystem that, that want that sort of service? Is it the financial sector? Is it another? It's everywhere. Everyone? It's everywhere. I mean, I think there's obvious examples in every single industry. Um, and I think there's new industries being developed by people that have mastered this, right? And I think, you know, 10 years ago, it was Google, Facebook, you know, Yahoo that were leveraging this type of technology. They were spending major dollars to store that amount of information and, and acquire the expertise to do this work. Now everyone can. What Pivotal is about doing is exactly, we're, we're trying to make large enterprise companies into Googles. Um, and it's happening across every industry. I mean, if you look at connected devices, if you look at thermostats, if you look at transportation, finance, life sciences, Fashion. yeah, everywhere, you know, yeah. retail. I mean, it's yeah. there's just every industry is being completely innovated, uh, and it's a set of these technologies that's making it possible. So, if we have this conversation next year here at the Javits Center, 
what would you say is going to change between now and then for Pivotal? Um, for Pivotal and the industry, I think um, in general, Pivotal tends to be uh, very future focused and we generally have next generation technologies and it's exciting now to see you know, major enterprises starting to adopt it as a, as, a, as a standard for how to move forward and how to build the next generation of apps. Um, again, I see people now, I, I see gaps closing. One of the initial premises of Pivotal was it's about developers and applications, it's about analytics, and it's about data. And it really comes down to how quickly you can innovate through that cycle, right? And so we, from very early on, said it's data, it's analytics, it's a platform as a service so that developers can rapidly innovate. And I think what's happening now is you're seeing those gaps close, right? And I think analytic informed applications are changing the industry so that gap between a data scientist enabling a developer to write a better application is closing. Um, as a result is this in-memory motion, right? It's like you can't sit around and wait to do analytics anymore. It has to happen in real time so that an application can react yeah. informed in yeah. real time. Absolutely. And uh, so I think you'll see that um, Today's exciting and everybody's talking about in memory, but um, there's a lot that has to be done between uh, innovation or new technology to be brought into a production enterprise class environment. So I think just the continued maturity of these stacks that we believe in and we've been investing in are going to occur. And, and I think it's great to see the open source community kind of right behind it. Um, we ourselves just uh, contributed big back into the industry. We just supported and, and adopted Umbari and donated a bunch of developers to that for a unified control and install and config. And the same thing with Tachyon. I think in general, the, the community is pulling the building blocks together now to, to really go into production enterprise class. So we're excited. Excellent. Mike, we hope to see you next year. Thanks so much. We'll be here. Thanks. All right.